This is John Martinka, and I'm in Bend, Oregon. Uh, the beautiful Deschutes River is right behind us, and I'm here to visit a client. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk to you about AAA. And AAA is not the auto club where if you run out of gas or have a flat tire, you get help. AAA in the small business buy-sell world refers to assumptions, adjustments, and ad backs. I had lunch with a group of bankers the other day. All of them, but especially the one who deals with business acquisition loans, expressed her disdain for all the ad backs adjustments and assumptions that go into trying to increase the cash flow of a business above what it shows on the financial statements and tax returns. Let's start with assumptions. Assumptions are things like, the company's been growing for the last five years at 2% a year. We're gonna project, and you should assume five to 10% growth. Assumptions are things like, we put in a new management process, cost of goods sold have been reduced by 5%. Now, if you had put that back over the last five years, here's how much money we would have made. Hmm, doesn't make sense, does it? Adjustments. Adjustments are things like, well, we're gonna adjust a pension plan, so instead of contributing $150,000 for the employees, the company's only contributing 50,000. There's another 100,000 of profit for the owner, and you should pay more because of that. But the big one is ad backs. And ad backs fall into two categories, legitimate and non-legitimate. Legitimate ad backs are things like, the owner takes a salary of 300,000 a year. The fair market value for the job of running the company is 150. Therefore, there's another $150,000 of profit. Now, realize that goes both ways. If the owner's only taking a $50,000 salary, there's really $100,000 less of profits, at least to a business appraiser. A legitimate ad back is an owner who pays himself a very high rent on the property he owns, and you will pay a much lower rent. Yes, that's additional profit for you as a buyer. Now let's talk about the non-legitimate ones, and they fall into, again, two categories, the ridiculous and the fraudulent. The ridiculous are things like, we provide medical for all the employees, but we're gonna add back the cost of the owner's medical. If everyone's getting it, the owner gets it. It's a real cost. The fraudulent are the ones that buyers and banks get very ang anxious about. Fraudulent ones are, we write off the Costco bill, the grocery store bill, the electronic store bill. We pay for the whole family's cars, their repairs, their insurance, their gas, and all vacations. The blending of the personal and business checkbook to an excess. If you're buying a business, be wary of assumptions, adjustments, and addbacks. If you're selling one, avoid them. Build your business to the point you don't need them because you're going to have a lot better business and attract a lot better group of buyers. Again, from Bend, Oregon, this is John Martinka along the beautiful Deschutes River. Thanks for watching.